Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the audio or video out of sync error you might be coming across on your Windows computer. So if you notice that it just doesn't seem to be matching up properly, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and lock on the start button one time. Type in device manager, best match, should come back with device manager here. Go ahead and just lock on that to open it up. Now you want to locate the sound, video, and game controllers. Double click on that. And now there should be a high definition audio device list underneath of here. Go ahead and right click on that and then select update driver. It's going to ask how you want to search for drivers. Select search automatically for updated driver software. Windows will search your computer and the internet for the latest driver software for your device unless you've disabled this feature in your device installation settings. So go ahead and select that. So if you're still having an issue or doesn't find anything, you can just select browse my computer for driver software instead. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whatever the default one that's shown here. Select next. Select yes, and it should say successfully updated your drivers. So you can close out of here. Would suggest restarting your computer. So I'm going to click on no because I want to show one more method. But I would suggest in your case restarting your device. And next thing I would suggest trying would be to open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot. Best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down underneath Get Up and Running and select Playing Audio, find and fix prompts of playing sound, and then select Run the Troubleshooter. So if it suggests anything like turning off sound effects and enhancements, I would suggest following along with whatever it suggests here. So if it wants you to disable something, I'd suggest doing it and then select next and just let it go through and see if it is able to detect any other problems. Low audio device volume and if I check down the system tray I can see my speakers is turned off down here so you just have to drag it over the right to turn it up so you can see that it's able to detect that in here so pretty neat feature I would say. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.